Good morning, friends, and welcome back to another vlog. I'm feeling, whoa, I'm feeling way more in the mood to vlog this week. So, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you are doing well. Look at me. I have my hair straightened, like what? Blow dried straightened, and I've done my makeup, which is very rare um, for me at any point these days, but especially on a Monday morning. Very early, went to the gym, dropped Harper at childcare, went out for a coffee with a friend, and then read my book, and I've just had a lovely start to the morning. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kirstie. I'm 26. I live in Adelaide with my little family, which is my lovely hi hi uh, which is my lovely husband Hayden, my two beautiful daughters, and our Australian Kelpie dog Ziggy. We live in the south of Adelaide, and I just vlog my life. I then film a few other videos whenever I get the chance, but with two under two, it's a little bit crazy. Harper is gonna be two in July, and Marley is nine weeks old, so I've got my hands full, as everyone who ever sees me says when I'm walking around. But I am almost finished reading Akatar, but you probably will already know this because it will be in the book vlog that will have gone live maybe last week. But, wow, what a time. I am just about to go into savers because I have some friends who are really, really good at thrifting and I am just not. And so I want to try and be better. I want to learn. I want to try and get good, be a little bit thrifty. And I also just don't fit into any of my jeans right now. I've been trying to embrace my postpartum body, but I tried to get dressed this morning and none of my jeans fit. So I had a bit of a meltdown, put on a dress instead. And yeah, I just feel like I need to get some jeans that fit me. There's no point in me just getting sad and trying to fit into old clothes right now. I should just buy clothes that fit me instead. But I also don't want to spend too much money on them because I would like to lose a couple kgs, you know? So, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to go for a walk through Savers, see if I can find anything, and also probably have a look at some books as well because I always see Rach used to always get, like, books thrifted, and they're really cheap. So I'm going to see if there's any nice books that I can pick up whilst I'm here as well. So that's where we're at. It is 10 o'clock. I'm going out with my parents a little bit later as well to a couple of wineries. They have some friends over from Melbourne with their two little kids, and... And obviously I'm on maternity leave and I'm free so I'm gonna go hang out with them as well pack along so let's go and see oh and I also want to see in Savers if I can find anything for the girls because my friends seem to find all these really cute branded beautiful things for their children in Savers and I just haven't ever I'm gonna have a good look hopefully find some nice things for the kitties I honestly do not have a knack for thrifting at all. It turns out I found one pair of leggings for Harper, which is a pair of leggings I already own for her at home, and I just wanted another pair, and I'd been looking in Target for them, and they don't sell this color anymore, and I think her size was a zero, and I got a size one, and they were $3.80, and I think they're like $5 at Target, or $6 I think I bought them for at Target. So good enough, I just really like this like terracotta -y color, and that is all I found. I looked through books. I didn't find any books that I liked. I threw clothes. I looked at jeans. I looked at active wear. I, there was a knit that was really cute. But it was a size six. So I was like, that's not going to fit me. But not the most successful. I have wanted a pair of these for Harper for weeks now in the sides up. And they just don't sell them at Target in this specific color anymore. So I guess that's a week. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I thought there was something in my jumper, but it's on my you find us. Like, look at this. Look at that sun coming in. What a beautiful I know, what a, angle. Oh, beautiful day. Beautiful. I find that um, the setting on this camera actually actually fixes the lighting for me which is nice. It's like I'm not very good at um getting my settings well, correct good but that looks nice today. I feel like we're going in slow motion in the viewfinder. Does it always do that? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? A little bit. I've never noticed. Like it doesn't when you when I watch your vlogs but well, that's good. I mean? I'm glad. It's like lagging. Anyway. I need to ask. Mm -hmm. Did you end up finishing Magnolia Parks or have you officially DNF'd? I've DNF'd. Oh. Have you spoke to Rachel about it? I don't want to I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Rachel. <laughs> I look I feel like I was enjoying well I literally only read like a hundred pages I was enjoying mm. it but I feel pages like is a lot though if you're not enjoying it like if, it, if you're struggling to get crack. through yeah yeah I just don't think I was in the mood for it it's one of those books that's like very yeah. yeah I just feel like I wasn't in the right headspace for it weren't in the mood for mm, like for the rich people drama tr yeah yeah I get it and like the writing still to me you know what's tricky so the second one I'm reading at the moment mm. and it has these like footnotes because oh. the second one's like Daisy Hates story yeah. and it has these footnotes but on the Kindle footnotes aren't until like the end of the chapter that's so you've got to like read and then you have to think about what number was all that of them. so oh, that's, that's annoying. annoying yeah I think in the actual book maybe it's handwriting or something I don't yeah. know I want to have a look when we go into Dimex, Dimex and yeah. see if they've got it 
to them. Are you like, enjoying the second one? I am. It's more like um, drug lord vibes. It's like Julian and stuff, and like the Hates family are all like mafia, not mafia, but like mafia vibes. Mm. The thing I couldn't different. get over is like the. Um, they're telling you what they're wearing? Yeah, like I just don't uh, really care about that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why I'm enjoying I'm enjoying Daisy Hates more because she's not telling me what everyone's oh. wearing. I feel like it broke up this, like the flow of the story. She was mm. like, went into such detail about mm -hmm. like the luxury items they were wearing. Yeah. I was, like, I just oh my god, BJ and like his, that. and then like two lines worth of what he was wearing. Yeah. He's then doing this. I'm yeah. like, sorry? I can't <laughs> even Literally. remember what room we're in anymore. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? You've lost me. Yeah, I And then I found that. myself like Googling the items so I could get a visual because I had no idea what this was. I'm like looking up all these luxury that. items. I'm like, okay. That is so funny. Oh. Daisy Hates is better though, I'm finding. To be fair, I haven't really been doing much reading the last couple of months. So, like, it's so sad. I know. Life's just busy, you know? I've been doing more than ever at the moment. You would be, wouldn't you? Breastfeeding, Breastfeeding. life. I feel like all I do is. That's all I gotta do is have a baby. <laughs> have a baby. Read. <laughs> Read. Have you been getting more questions since you know the date that you're getting into your? house yeah about babies um not yet maybe when we're in there yeah give it a month yeah actually more from our friends really yeah interesting like guys yeah people have been like well you're in your own house now but we were we were very much of that mindset like oh when mm. we're in our house like maybe we'll like Start be ready but now yeah. like not the stress of moving but just like everything yeah that's put on the back burner you got a lot to do first yeah literally we're like oh maybe we should just like relax and like, like take a breath breathe yeah. get settled enjoy yeah enjoy life but yeah, I that's fair. Who knows? I'm full of surprises. Because I always think that time when we were talking, I reckon it was the first time we did like car chatting video and we had our content day. Yes. And we were talking about like people asking you about babies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I was pregnant with Marley, but I didn't know yet. <gasps> oh, yeah. It was like four days later I tested and I was pregnant. Oh, my gosh. And I had been being like, oh, yeah, everyone's asking, like, are you having a second? Like, when are you going to have a second? And then literally I was pregnant and didn't even know yet. Dude. I was in my two week window where we had had unprotected sex and we weren't sure yet how crazy and then yeah a few days later i was like it's <laughs> so weird that you just walk around like pregnant and like you don't even know about it yeah and like you literally can't know until it's like implanted so you could be yeah. testing and like you're just not pregnant yet and now look at her and now she's a full human where is he sitting eating well not sitting she'll be sitting <laughs> laying down babbling smiling crazy Life is crazy. Life I just find crazy. it so crazy that you've literally grown to so humans. well. I know, in my body. And then pushed them out. Women and now incredible. they're just like humans. Weird. I felt your belly when she was in yeah. there. Oh, so yeah, weird. I always think about, you know, when we were in Brisbane and we were sitting on the Mount, at Mount Kutha. Oh, yeah, <laughs> And I had to turn on my side and I was like laying on my side for a bit. And then yes. she was moving and I was like, does anyone want to feel? And they were like, no. <laughs> both Rachel and Georgia were like, absolutely not. Terrified. Yeah. That was her. I haven't told anyone what we're doing today but we're gonna go for a we're in Glenelg mix it up a bit we're usually in Brighton Brighton but we're in Glenelg this morning and we're gonna go get acai bowls you've already tried it here again I've lived this is my third time <laughs> we're going to Oakberry get so us good. an acai bowl and then gonna have a wander around some shops I'd like to have a look at some books I told Hayden that's what I'd like for Mother's Day is some books when is Mother's Day first Sunday of May okay good to know mm, that to your budget yeah 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 mm. you know Miss 5048 the coffee prices have gone up and I said oh, really goes my coffee budget no <laughs> only about like 50 cents but if you're getting one every day that makes a big difference I know like, it's really gonna throw off my coffee I really <laughs> gotta have one less coffee from there away. literally I'm like it's me or you babe like only one of us wow. can get coffee nowadays I'm like I understand like, prices of things yeah. go up like when you're used to paying a certain price somewhere mm. and going there often when you're a regular yeah it, it it's hurts a bit painful. More. yeah they made a post and they have like the big like so sorry like we're gonna have to increase our prices on oh, whatever. and then we went in there and they were like sorry like the prices have gone off and i'm like it's okay oh that's so um, sweet but though. honestly we've been better about making coffee i'm just like bringing it with us have you yeah. on you not every day but no it shouldn't be every day i didn't make us. my coffee this morning because i was like we're gonna get acai bowls so there may be a coffee there may not be a coffee mm. if we're getting acai bowls yeah yeah, I might with the new house get it like a, a proper one. Yeah, a breville. I would do be like nice. my Nespresso, but sometimes I just need more caffeine. Is that bad? No, I like my proper coffee machine. Mm. I don't think I could have like a pod. The only thing with the pods is it's nice and quick. It's so easy. So yeah. quick. I like actually making coffee, like the process. I of mean, it. yeah, I enjoy making my. Yeah. It's just if I don't have much time, I'm suddenly a bit flustered, like, yeah, getting yeah. away. If you're in a hurry, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I like, well, there's pros and cons then when I have people over, mm. and I'm like, who wants a coffee? It takes quite a while. Okay, It's yeah. not like boiling the kettle for a cup yeah. of tea, and then everyone's got their tea bag. <laughs> I wouldn't even just, offer it. I'd just say, yeah. tea only. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, because then I have a coffee, so then I'm like, I oh. can't have a coffee and offer everyone else tea. <laughs> yeah. It's so rude. So then, yeah, I end up spending, like, 20 minutes making them all, because yeah. it's not like at a coffee shop where you've got two group heads and you can pour multiple. 
like tea. Yeah, I'm like a tea drinker. Like milky tea, like English, like, like cup of tea. Like a Tetley black tea. Yeah, with do like you a like that? Yeah. Do you have that all the time? No, I used to when I lived with mum and dad. It was like all I drank. And then the last few days, I've actually had a, like oh. I've had like three cups of tea in the last week, which is rare. Wow. If okay. I go to mum and dad's, I'll have a cup of tea. Yes. Because they don't have coffee. they have instant coffee. Yeah. No, no, um, no, not no, about no, that. No, no. My mum even the other week was like, would you like a coffee? And I was like, what kind of coffee do you have? She's like, sachets or instant? And I was like, no, a cup of tea, thank you. <laughs> but they also just had a new coffee shop open up around the corner from them mm. in Flaggy, like yeah. Della's Deli it's called. And it's so nice. So now if I go to mum's, I'll just get a coffee on my way and then go over. <laughs> I'm like, here's a coffee for you, mum. I don't like tea, and everyone is always like, are you even English? English? (laughs) Literally. I just don't. My parents, that's all they drink. Like, they don't drink water. They just have cups of tea all day. That's like my mum. My mum. All day. My mum drinks it black, and she's so gross. She'll let it, like, not gross. I love you, mum. You're not gross. (laughs) But she'll make a pot, and she'll drink that pot for, like, hours, even when it's, like, cold. Like, she doesn't even. I need, like, a fresh hot hot cup of tea with a dash mm-hmm. and then like as soon as I get in Hayden's vows said something about me leaving like my half drank cup of teas Aww. around the house because like I would get to like halfway and then when it wasn't like, hot I'm like no. <laughs> I'm done yeah it's whereas gross. coffee like, cold I can drink forever like, yeah no matter cold how coffee, coffee is gets, like so. fine yeah yeah cold, cold tea, tea. Awesome. I'm not into it Nick's mum um made me do a tea reading but with like herbal tea it was like the oh my god the so foulest thing ever I didn't really learn anything it's I was gonna really say what do you do for a tea reading do you just like drink the tea and then it's whatever the marking left over yeah she did a a class very on happy, it. Very, and very Harry Potter of you. Yeah, it was. That's all I think of. It is was. Like, grim. Yeah, it really was. But she used like two chunky tea leaves. So I had to drink like it was like gunky. Like it was so gross. Oh, it sounds disgusting. Uh, and then we got to the bottom and she's like, oh, it's, maybe I'd use the wrong tea. Like, it's a bit chunky. <laughs> I'm like, we've come this far. Like you've got to read something. Yeah, you've got to tell me what my future is now. And she was like, oh, a good future. And I was like, okay, thanks. Very vague. So, I drink the tea for me. That's then so it's gross. their tea reading apparently. So. Oh. Oh. But yes, my family, when they all come over from the UK, me on tap, my cousin, constantly, and he has like four sugars in all of them. Yeah. And then it'll be like, Kirsty, you ready for another tea? I'm like, thanks, Matt. <laughs> yeah, it was all day. Yeah. Tea crazy. all day on tap. Are you nearly done? I guess you were very hungry. I love how big she is. I know, she's grown so Look at her little toes. Can't wait for everyone else around me to have babies. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's no pressure for you guys. I do. Obviously, I look forward to it. Yeah, I babies, can't wait. But it is. But amazing. I can. Yeah. I, but then I don't know. I'm so indecisive. Some days I'm like, yes, mm. I can't wait. I'm ready. But then yeah. other days I'm like. Mm does change your whole life once you commit yeah you've committed no going back yeah i think that's the thing like but how do you know when you're a, ready i don't think you're ever fully ready that's what everyone says but like did you you must have had like a feeling like this is the time well for us it was more because we miscarried after the miscarriage we were like this is really what we want yes and because when we got pregnant with the miscarriage it wasn't planned we got pregnant not like necessarily by accident but my app said that i was not ovulating so yeah we thought we were like in the clear <laughs> so it was like <laughs> we zapped. obviously i like, didn't need protection anyway so it was like we knew the risk yes we were like if we get pregnant this was like a few months before our wedding we were like if we get pregnant we get pregnant like Mm -hmm. we didn't really care we're in our own house we're getting married like we've got a dog like we're at the time of life where like if we got pregnant it's not a bad thing yeah but we weren't exactly like yes we're so ready for a baby right now we thought that maybe we would not have a baby to like a year or two after getting married and because we were going to travel like we had a trip to vietnam and our honeymoon Mm. was going to be africa and then covid hit and the world shut down so that's another thing like i don't think the girls would both be here if covid hadn't hit because so i don't think we would have had kids till probably like now because mm-hmm. we would have just been like traveling and paying off more of the mortgage and like doing like getting ourselves maybe set up a little bit more and then we miscarried and i was like all i want in the world is a baby all i wanted after mm-hmm. so then i felt like ready ready yeah but even when i was pregnant i was like oh my god everything's gonna change like mm-hmm. and it does everything changed in a good way in a good way yeah and That's like i was ready for that people change. are so negative about mm, seriously everything having a dog <clears throat> yeah, green and when you have having a baby yeah I'm it's like, like yes your life have changed but yeah. it's like there's a lot of really great things that come from it the yeah. good outweighs how much my life has changed like mm. most of it is for the better the only things I feel like I struggle with is not having like the flexibility and the freedom that I used to have yeah. like I can't like this morning I went to the gym at 5 and then I was going with my friend and she was like oh I love it I'll be home like and it's dark and I was like you should go and watch the sunrise mm. I was like I can't I've got kids i got to get home because yeah. Hayden needs to go to work so I need to like get home for my children yeah. but you go watch the sunrise because that's what I should have done more of before having kids <laughs> Like, for the both of us. Yeah. yeah. 
I was like, I'll live vicariously through you watching the sunrise whilst I go and get my daughter ready for childcare. That's the only thing I'm like, I don't have the same freedom as before, but that'll come back. Eventually, they'll, yeah. they'll be all grown up and exactly. Hayden and I will still be young and That's the thing, yeah. Funky fresh and we'll just I'm be getting older. older, you know? I'm sick. My eggs girl. are drying up. When do they old start? Girl. When do you start using eggs? Well, I think as of the age of like 35, you're classified as like geriatric, which is so <laughs> dramatic and so rude <laughs> considering so rude. like a lot of people don't have kids to way after that. Yeah. But I don't know. I think everyone's so different. Like, I know people who had to go through IVF really young because mm. they've got like old lady eggs, is what they've been told. Their eggs are the same as like a 40 year old. So then you might have young, the fresh 26 thing. year old eggs. Like, they might be yeah. normal. Well, not normal. That's no such thing as normal, but like, they might be health A grade eggs. You never really know until you like. Start, start trying yeah that's the thing like, yeah what if it takes years and years well yeah that's the one thing too i was then like oh we got pregnant easily like with the mis miscarriage but what if it then takes us a year to get pregnant mm. again and then same with her we got really lucky with harper but what if the second what if this time it doesn't happen as quick you really never know we just got very 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 lucky and now we are truly in the depths of two under two <laughs> <laughs> but you're wild. killing it you're absolutely killing it like, if that, if that was me, I would be home all the time. I would never go out. I actually can't stay home. I get severe cabin fever. And then all I think about is all the stuff I've got to do around the house. Yeah. Because the house gets messy in two seconds. Yeah. So all I do is, like, overthink how messy the house is. And then I don't stop because I just want to get stuff done all the time. And then I'm, like, overwhelmed and flustered. So instead, I lock the front door. <laughs> and I avoid all of my home problems. And I come out and I enjoy my day instead. I get an acai bowl. Yeah. I get Stunning. an acai bowl. I spend some time in the sunshine. I do some book shopping. And I Exciting. just pretend that everything else home doesn't exist. I love it. And then I come back and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> the house is a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a real time. Okay, I have not spoken to you guys this morning yet, but we are just out for our morning walk. Harper is in the pram, Marley's in the carrier. Ziggy is living his best life, running and ragged. Ziggy, you having fun? And so I just said I'd say good morning. Kind of a stunning day, but I don't know what we're going to do today really so i just figured at least getting out for some fresh air this morning was a good idea i did not go to the gym this morning because i'm very very sore <laughs> It is Thursday. I don't think I've spoken to you guys. I don't even know if I spoke to you yesterday or not, but hello. I hope you're having a lovely week. Mine has been a bit hectic as always, but I'm just doing my online grocery order and then I need to <laughs> take the recycling out and it is quarter past one in the afternoon. Both girls are sleeping. I've been to the gym. We went to the playground. My brand new washing machine has stopped working. So I'm getting organized to go to the laundromat tomorrow because I don't think it'll be fixed by tomorrow. And I have so much laundry building up that I could buy. So I'm just doing a quick food shop. I'm just checking. I need a cauliflower soup recipe. So I have a cauliflower. That sounds good. Okay, roast cauliflower, build flavor, saute onions, garlic, vegetable broth, and then let it simmer. Okay, easy. So I don't need anything. I can do that. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have burgers tonight. So I've got the patties already in the fridge. So I'll just take them out, ordering burger buns, chips, lettuce and tomato. And that's all I need. Maybe I'll see if I can get any chicken breast. Check it out. Just get me out of here. Give me the goods. I have a love-hate relationship with when you do like the nearly checking out and they're like, oh, do you want to, have you forgot anything? And I'm like, maybe. Pick up your bags today between four and five. I don't know why I decided to pick my camera up whilst I was needing to do this, but I have. But I hope, I feel like this vlog is probably a bit hectic if I'm completely honest, because I don't even know what I have filmed and what I have not filmed, but it's already Thursday and I feel like I literally have blinked and the day has disappeared. So I'm just about to, oh, Actually, I'm in that situation where I don't know what I need to do first. So I need to have a shower and wash my hair. I need to edit a video and I need to breathe and read at some point. I'm going to read the Eden's Legacy short story. It's like 50 pages. Debbie Perry just released it like yesterday. And so because it's on Kindle Unlimited, why the heck not? So maybe I'll have my shower first and then I can edit whilst my hair dries. I might put a hair mask in to be fair because it's feeling a little bit gross. I don't know. I feel like I need to act quick because both the girls are asleep at the moment and Marley will probably wake up any second now. So maybe I should just go shower. But I just wanted to check in and say hi because I feel like I filmed lots on like 
Monday and Tuesday and then nothing. I guess that's how my weeks go though because then like Wednesday, Thursday I have both the girls and I'm fully in mum mode. So I guess that's normal, right? Last week's vlog was so short I felt so like deflated but I was also filming a reading vlog at the same time. So I feel like I need to balance that a little bit better but you guys don't care about that. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 